Oh, that's who Harvey Danger is. Yeah, that single's on their first album, along with another nine tracks, and it's a book smart version of indie rock. I feel that this is one of the debuts where the massive single kind of overshadows the rest of it, kind of because one of their best features is their sass, which is evident on Flagpole's hit, uh, and when that was a successful thing, that's what they honed in on. But across this album, it's not yet delivered with that level of confidence. Still good, though. The band's standout combination of fun and depth is already on show. You can actually hear some pre-album demo tapes. I think the same thing describes those, and it's quite a scratchy demo sound that excludes them from this list. Then, I've just realised that it's a similar story to Veruca Salt. The second album goes pretty glam. Now they know they've got a public that responds to their music, and the music knows it too. This is pretty much a thrill ride throughout, and they're particularly notable for their lyrical dexterity. It's kind of wise-ass music, so it's very much for me. One track is uncharacteristically threatening, but it's okay when you know it's a cover. I think the way these lyrics are constructed, they have the wisdom that we assume cliches to have, but just not the banality. It's words to live by, or die by. There's a passion and overdrive to their music that's usually in far more sullen genres like metal or post-hardcore, but here it earns its place as a flourish rather than a given. Then this is actually how I first heard of Harvey Danger when they released this album online for free. That was a big deal back in 2005. I remember advocating it to a school friend and they were like, Harvey Danger, I love him! And I thought, Oh, you're a fake. But now I just think, oh, I'm the snob. This is a gentler sound, more keyboard-oriented, a bit more resigned, kind of more romantic. It has a bonus disc, and some of the best tracks are on there. Perhaps predictably of me, it's going in between. The Danger had a hard time with the record industry, which is why their releases and even their breakup came with a shrug, but they didn't let that soak through to the music. This pay-what-you-like rarities compilation has enough material from their more focused stage to be placed above the debut, and don't forget this final single track too. This video was published in HD.